guys? Good morning from Quartzsite, Arizona. It is bright and early, 4.30 in the morning. I'm here downtown on Main Street, already checked back in with the tribe over in Ehrenberg and uh, got a ride down here from some friends. Uh, Carolyn is going to be taking care of Jax, feeding him water, litter box, checking in on him to make sure he's cool in my RV. She has my keys. This is pretty epic, guys. I haven't done something like this. I've not been away from Jax for three days ever in my life. So we'll see how this goes. But like I said, it's early. I'm waiting for the Greyhound bus to pick me up here in Quartzsite, Arizona and take me back east to Phoenix. Here we go. They actually pick us up on the other side of McDonald's. Good thing Aja was paying attention. Oh, the bus life. Well, that was lots and lots of fun. Actually, it wasn't. I hate buses. That was uh, two hours. And I fell asleep. I was really, really tired. Uncomfortable. I hate buses. Here we are. Welcome to Phoenix. And uh, I don't have an official plan, but the airport is right there. So I think I might be able to walk over. I'm going to do some research. If it's just a mile, I might walk. Here's the Greyhound station here in Phoenix. They've got uh, food and souvenirs and everything. It's actually a really nice station. Yeah, I decided to take a cab because uh, they didn't have any sidewalks over there getting there. So it was about two miles to get here. Now I'll check in and get my boarding pass from Southwest Airlines. Huh. This place is more like a mall than an airport. Food, and coffee, and stores everywhere. I'm about three hours early for my flight. It doesn't even show up on the screens here, but I'll check back in a little bit. That means I got time for coffee. And since I have time, let's talk, guys. What in the heck is going on? What am I doing? This was uh, planned and not planned. Well, let me explain that. So I'm going to get my tooth fixed uh, up in Salt Lake City because I found a dentist who can do the modified bridge same day all in office. Uh, some dentist places have to uh, contract out some of that stuff and then have, have you go back. So uh, I'm, today's Wednesday. Uh, I'm getting the tooth fixed tomorrow and then I fly out the very next day. So I'll be gone three days. And I decided against the implant because, you know, just like Carolyn was pointing out, if I go do it in Mexico, it's going to be six months before I can physically have the tooth back. And I don't want to wait. I want to have my smile back. So, and it got way too cold. That's what I hinted at when I was in Roswell. So uh, in, the, in the teens, icy roads, I don't want to lose my motor home. So uh, keeping the RV safe with uh, the tribe over there, Carolyn taking care of Jax and everything. And then uh, I take care of this my own way. I'm sure it doesn't make sense to a lot of you, but I gave this a lot of thought and um, uh, price-wise, it's actually the same as it would be to drive the RV for the plane ticket round trip that I got, so I did really good on that. So I'll uh, drink up my coffee here and get back to you. are here in Salt Lake City. Did you guys see the snow? Yeah, may have to put the sweater back on. Delicate Arch, I have been there. It's been a couple years though. They've got live music. Huh. Well, we'll go see if we can track down a taxi to take me to pick up my rental. Yeah, there we go.
Now, you might be asking yourself what I'm doing here at U-Haul. Um, I'm gonna explain it here real quick, guys, in case you don't know. I've been renting U-Haul trucks and vans uh, for many, many years because it's literally, every single time, it's always cheaper to literally rent a U-Haul than it is for a car. Cheapest I could find was $73 a day for a rental car. I can go rent a truck or a van here, $20 a day flat, and I think it's 67 cents a mile or something like that. So, little hint for you, if you're having trouble finding a rental car, or if you just rather have a truck or a van for towing stuff, get a U-Haul. Alrighty, I got the uh, display model, so I gotta drive it off the rack here. Uh, we'll go drive over to my accommodations for the next two days, nights. Alrighty, I'm in a U-Haul truck. What should we do? Let's go play bumper cars with Terry and Scott Snood. Camper. <laughs> Too soon? They didn't like that. If we can just uh, get it to warm up a little bit or thaw some of the snow on my hood, that'd be great. For the record, this place looks a lot nicer than I was expecting for 38 bucks a night. I got two nights here at Crossland Economy Studios, so go check in and see my room. Get comfortable. Oh yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a real happening place here. I'm the only one in this building, it looks like. Room 370, second floor. We'll just make sure we do not put a black light to anything in the room. You guys know me, I'm not a fan of motels, hotels, anything. I would always, I would rather blow up a mattress and put it in a U-Haul van, and except for the cold here, it gets down to the teens, so not an option. Not an option. There we go. Well, no, I'm smoking. Oh, I was gonna light it up, guys. Um, hello? Did you guys activate my card? Uh, what the? Um. Oh. Fake wood floors. Ah. Uh, hello? What the? Oh, okay. So maybe it's been a while since I've been in a motel, but this is pretty darn spacious with the recliner chair, queen bed, huh, storage, and a wood dresser, and a table, and a, that's at least a 42 inch TV, a uh, kitchen with microwave, uh, two burners, Sink, fridge and freezer. Why would you do it like that, guys? Cool. Yeah, nice, big, bright, clean bathroom. Tomorrow, there will not be a gap there, hopefully. And a clean shower, sweet. Now what? Hmm. Will? Um, I don't want to be cooped up uh, in, in the motel. I'm actually... Uh, I'm actually having a hard time being without Jax. Didn't think I would have this issue, but this just doesn't seem normal. Uh, checked in with Carolyn. Uh, he, he ate all his food right away and meowed for her just like uh, he does for me. Um, I can see him on my camera, which is really cool. Um, I can see him on the interior camera just sleeping there, so like I know he's okay. But this is strange. I wonder what it's going to be like after three days when I get back. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to uh, go explore around nearby and get some dinner, talk to you guys, because tomorrow I'm not going to be very talkative uh, after, after the dentist. So let's go look around. So clearly a definitely a different type of vlog than I normally do. I am got the bare minimum, do not have anything I need to be comfortable. I've tried intentionally to pack very light. So that backpack is all I brought. But I brought everything to edit video tonight. This happens. This is a really nice truck, by the way. This thing runs good. Whoops, sorry, Terry and Scott. Didn't see you back there. Inside joke. I'm not a snow guy. Like, not even a little bit. Just not a snow guy. And I forgot that if, since it's going to get in the teens tonight, I probably don't want to be driving around after dark. So let's get this... Uh, not get it over with, but let's do our driving now while it's not frozen outside.
I don't feel like Kentucky Fried Chicken. I was really aiming towards pizza, but I stopped in at this Kentucky Fried Chicken because it's got something special right here. I forgot the other guy's name, but here on the left, you got the original Colonel Sanders who opened up this location, the first ever Kentucky Fried Chicken location here at this spot. And this statue was erected for their uh, 50th anniversary. So. And I almost slipped and fell on my behind, guys. That was scary. I have got no tread on these shoes. They're not meant for ice. <laughs> this is cool. Right behind this uh, neon sign company is, uh, well, I don't know if you can see, but it, it appears to be Spock, guys. That's a huge Spock on the building. Star Trek. Okay, this is actually really cool. Uh, rock and roll guitar, a neon guitar. I wonder if they're like scrapping it or something. All right, guys, seriously though, enough with the snow, jeez. And then looks like Elvis Presley's torso. Maybe a retired muffler man or something. Um, I changed my mind, guys. Oh, there is something written on the back of Spock. Don't know if you can see that, but it says beam us up on Spock's back there. Okay, first of all, it is freezing. I don't want to drive a rented U-Haul truck in the ice and wreck it and get in trouble. Uh, I don't want to drive on the ice at all. And also, I have to pay 69 cents per mile. So we should probably be trying to keep the miles down to the general area here. So I'm not going to tour around Salt Lake City. I'm sorry. I, that's not why I came here. I just wanted to get out of the hotel to keep my mind off missing Jack's. But I decided that I'm going to go get a pizza and I'm going to edit video and watch TV or, or, or YouTube or something instead. I'm not going to drive around. So let's go get some grub. Well, we got stopped for the transit here. I might look into that and see if I can hop on that type of transit instead of the taxi. It might save me money. All right, there we go. We got the goods all in there, safely buckled. Good, good, good. Got to protect the valuables. All right, cargo got home safely. Oh, yes. Sausage, pepperoni, and bacon. Hopefully today will be the last pizza I eat, and when I go to take a bite, the pepperoni does not get cut all the way because of the missing tooth, so. All right, enjoy this. Not sure if you can see Jax there in the bottom right hand corner of the camera. He is kneading the uh, bed. I moved his bed from the front seat to the couch while I'm gone. He is kneading it live. He's so cuddly. It's uh, getting dark back in Ehrenberg, but I didn't know when I was going to use the, the feature of this, being able to monitor it live and everything, but uh, it's pretty cool. All right, Jax. See you in a couple days. I ate half the pizza, put the other half in the fridge. It works. It's easy. It's cheaper than ordering out every single night or doing fast food or something. So everything's going to be okay. Um, I will hopefully see you with a repaired smile in my next video. So have a good day, guys. Bye-bye.